Terry Jones is the founder of Travelocity, the co-founder of Kayak. He led from a team of six to a $3 billion company. Terry Jones has become a powerful voice in the world of entrepreneurship. A man who knows a thing or two about disruption and innovation. Please join me in welcoming Terry to the stage. <laughs> disruption, innovation, they're just two sides of the same coin. The reason you call it disruption is because you didn't do it. It was done to you. You have to face your fears. Established organizations view disruption as a threat. Instead of saying, how could we do that? We have the brand, we have the supply chain, we have manufacturing, we have the people, we have the ideas, how can we do that? Stop being disruptive and start being innovative. The last 25 years were about who could build things the cheapest. The next 25 years will be about who can build things the smartest. I spent my entire career looking at the systems behind businesses, figuring out how to innovate, short circuit, and then rewire them to create more nimble and more profitable enterprises. Now I show audiences how to look at their industry through a new lens, how to turn disruption off and turn innovation on. When I was CIO, I decided to take a huge risk. I was married, I had two kids, I had a big mortgage, a big salary. I said, you know that little department called Easy Saber that has our online product? I want to go run that. And they said, you're crazy, you're CIO. And I said, no, I want to do that. And we turned it into Travelocity and took the public for $1.2 billion. Big risk, big reward. So take the first risk. Maybe you'll fail, but failure leads to success. I think the reason the Travelocity story captures the imagination of audiences is that it could happen inside any company. It was a simple idea, a tweak almost, but it disrupted the entire travel industry. When I left Travelocity, we had 3,000 people. We took Kayak Public with 220 people. We were highly profitable. We sold the company to Priceline for $1.8 billion. You can do more with less today. Having served on the boards of 16 companies, I've seen what happens when companies innovate and when they don't. So I can tell you who and what is likely to disrupt your company, and more importantly, what you can do about it. The FAA just approved the first airline part that's 3D printed for GE. Think about how it was made before. A bunch of small factories in China build parts, they ship them to an assembler, he puts them together, sticks them in a warehouse, waits for GE to call, and then they put them on a ship and a truck and get them to Fairfield. Introduce a 3D printer. All that supply chain is gone. Wouldn't you rather be the disruptor? That's the opportunity. We live in a world that moves at the speed of tweets and headlines, and we simply expect that speed. We demand that speed wherever we go, which is why I've created a unique highly visual presentation style. The combination of visuals and sound moving at high speed flows over the audience and causes them to put down their phones and open their mind. And people say, Terry, do you need to do another startup? I say, no, man, I'm on Medicare. I don't have to do a startup. I'm old. I want to do another startup. I couldn't do Hamlet five nights a week. I get bored. So I work hard to customize my speech for every audience. I always do research, and when I have time, I'll go to the trade show and the cocktail party to pick up those nuggets to make it unique for your audience. My goal is to give the audience a set of actions that they can take home and put to work the very next day. That's how I know my message sticks. That's how I know they're turning disruption off and turning innovation on. People say, oh, the digital world is marginalizing my business. It's reducing my margins, it's changing everything. The way to avoid being marginalized is to draw your own margins. It's to take the information you get from this conference and go home and change something. Because change, change is inevitable. But growth, growth is optional. It's up to you. Thank you very much.